every single human being on the planet has a series of performance gaps, but the highest performers, you name them, it doesn't matter. You could be talking about LeBron or Tom Brady or Beyonce. The reason they're high performers is they found a way to mitigate or reduce performance gaps in the most applicable areas of their life. And this goes back to the importance of repetition. I mean, this is parenting 101. Just because you tell them doesn't mean they were listening, so you tell them again. Just because you showed them it doesn't mean they were watching, so you show them again. And just because someone knows, it doesn't mean that they do. So you tell them and show them, tell them and show them, tell them and show them, and then you hold them accountable. If I have you all right now in your notes, we'll use health and fitness as an example, only because it's one that we can all easily, easily visualize. If I ask every one of you right now to make a list of the healthiest foods that you know of, you guys could do that. In fact, most of you would write down many of the same foods. If I asked everyone right now to shout out, how many hours of sleep are you supposed to get every night? You guys would shout out a number in a split second. Most of you would shout out the exact same number. And if I ask you just to etch out, what should a workly week out pro uh, workout program look like? Uh, you don't have to submit it to men's or women's health, just roughly how many days a week should you exercise, how long each session, and, and what kind of things should you do? I have zero doubt that everyone here could do that. But now, I have you look down at your notes and I'm gonna ask you three separate binary questions. Are those the foods that you eat consistently? Is that the amount of sleep you got last night? And are these the type of workouts you do regularly? They're simple yeses or nos. If your answer is yes, this is the food that I eat, that's how much sleep I got last night, and I even got up early to get in a workout before I came to today's lunch and learn, that just means when it comes to health and fitness and wellness and vitality, that just means you have a narrow performance gap. That's awesome. If your answer is no, I don't say that to call anyone out and I definitely don't say that to make anyone feel bad. I say that so that you'll shine the light of self accountability on the fact that you know what you're supposed to do, but there's something that's stopping you from doing it. And that's the key to us being able to raise performance is being able to figure out how strategically we can close these performance gaps.